Legislators gathered at the Civic Center Monday with one goal in mind. Lawmakers broke into five groups discussing the best ways South Dakota can progress in education, Medicare, tribal relations, domestic violence, and agriculture. On the topic of education, Representative Sly says the talk now is to change the length of the school year as well as the funding formula. We have a bill that will be coming forward that would add 12 hours per year over a five-year period. And then one of the criteria would be looking at whether or not they're making growth or not. And it wouldn't just be a test score. It would be looking at assessing the success of adding on additional time for a school district. Right now, the Rapid City School District calendar is the longest school year in the state with 1,200 hours, which is something that could change in this legislative season. Mirroring off education, there is also the discussion of how to best bring the youth into the workforce and improve tribal relations. Yeah, economic development is by far the hardest uh, uh, thing to do on, an, on the reservations. And what we need to do is reach out because 45% of their people are 18 and under, and that's our future workforce. There is a debate over Medicaid expansion, the infrastructure is in place, but not the funding. I'm not recommending our state expand Medicaid to additional people this year. I think we're already going to be uh, facing a fairly significant budgetary challenge to meet the commitments to people we already save under Medicaid. Many legislators are thinking of proposing a new agricultural classification for smaller acreages, such as forest and recreational type land, and county officials agree. Now you're either egg or non-egg, but the way that the small egg producers now operate, there is a possibility of egg mid-level and we're going to research that. Meeting Monday took strides towards clarifying what steps to take next regarding each issue for when lawmakers head back to Pierre. Stephanie Kayser, News Center One.